Hey guys, Josh Henkin here, creator of the Ultimate Sandbag Core Training Systems, along with Senior Physical Therapist Jessica Bento. We're super excited because this issue of uh, Men's Health, the June issue, has our first Ultimate Sandbag program in a mainstream magazine. We're really excited to share the DVRT program and principles and want to take you through the exciting program, but more importantly, the variations that you can use to achieve great results with this workout. It's a great workout. What you're going to do is pick the selection of a uh, level that you're at. You can try many different levels and work through it. You can scale it over time. I'll explain that in a moment, but let's get to it. So this is a circuit series. You're going to do one exercise for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. Go to the next exercise, perform for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. We're going to do all one side at a time. So when you see Jessica go to one side, you would do that side for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, and go to the other side, unless I tell you otherwise. So let's go through it. The first exercise we're going to actually start with is we're going to do the lateral lunge snatch. So what Jessica's going to do is she's going to grab our snatch handles. She's going to lunge out towards her right, touch down, and then pop it up over her head. She can come down in the middle and repeat. So what she's doing is she's really loading up that lateral hip, blasting through that heel, punching up to the sky. You want to think of punching up, not letting your arms go back because the bag's going to be pulling you back. Now, if you're not quite ready for this drill, you can flip the bag over into our neutral grip handles and do what we call lateral lunge high pull. So she's going to step out, pull up towards the chest, back down, good. Just like this. So you're not going to hang out in that midpoint, you're just going to let the projection of the weight come up and back down. So this is good if you're not used to having that shoulder stress or you're not confident in snatching the bag overhead in that position. If you're really kind of new to this form of training, you can also do a lateral lunge deadlift. So simply step out, sit back on the hip, touch down the ground up. And what you can do is get in a rhythm so you can start increasing speed a little bit at first, but make sure to always project yourself up nice and tall from the exercise. Nice, Jessica. So you would do one of these variations for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, perform the other side. Then we're gonna do our lateral bag drag. This is an exercise that a lot of people still don't quite understand the purpose. The purpose is to teach you anti-rotational components along with shoulder stability and hip integration. So the idea is to go as slow as possible, not to whip through and do as many reps as possible. So you want to see how slow can you do it with good reps. You can always make it harder a couple different ways. So Jessica's going to just demonstrate one uh, set, uh, repetition each side. So good wide base to start with. You want to screw in that shoulder to keep the body in good alignment. Good, that's me now. That was good, and what she's gonna do is, I would have her even try to slow it down even more to make it a higher level challenge, or to bring her feet just an inch closer together, reduce her base support. Now let's go on the other side. What if it's too difficult, and you start to notice that your hips rotate or drop, and you can't maintain alignment during the motion? You can definitely go to a four point stand. So we're gonna just go to her knees. Now what you wanna do is make sure just that your weight is right over the top of your four points, Chest is up nice and tall, hips are tight, she drags across. Nice, Jessica. If you want to make it even easier, you could drop the feet to the ground. Just make sure your weight is, again, evenly dis uh, dispersed. You don't want too much of your weight back on your heels. See how she's still keeping that plank type of feel to the movement. So for that one, you're just going to do 30 seconds. So you can go back and forth for 30 seconds, really trying to control it, maximize the benefit of the full body integration. Now the next one's a challenging one, especially as you're starting to get tired. It's a rotational lunge clean to balance. So I'm just going to demonstrate one or two repetitions here. So this is definitely a more advanced move. Nice. Way to stick it, Jess. Okay, so that balance up really teaches us to accelerate the hips all the way forward, full pull, multi planar action. Now, this is a pretty advanced drill, so let's talk about a couple re uh, regressions. One is just doing a rotational lunge clean. So we're going to do it without the balance point. Nice, Jess. So this allows you to focus primarily on that eccentric action, really building our speed, learning how to project that hip up nice and strong. That still can be a little challenging. So what we can do is a slow alternating size rotational lunge. Nice, Jess. So you're really going to try to minimize speed. Just get used to the flow of the bag going back and forth. That's going to prepare you for a hard projection of the hips and more stability through the pelvis and the trunk. Still not sure about this? Just do the rotational lunge same side slow. So nice and slow and control. Beautiful, Jess. Nice, strong and tall. See how the rotational lunge, we're just referring to the movement of the back. We're not trying to rotate through too much of the low back. So we want to make sure you're nice and, uh, and sure that you're using the appropriate level, especially as you're accumulating fatigue. 
So last one in the series, and you can use any grip you want for this, but we're just going to stick for right now with a neutral grip because we're going to have a really challenging body position in a single leg row. So just going to come up. Basically, you're going to try not to rotate the pelvis. She's going to pull the bag up slowly and down slowly. A lot of people, they're going to try to race through this. You don't want to race through it. Nice, Jess. If it's too challenging, you can put your back foot up on a step. Nice. Or just go staggered step. Beautiful. So these four exercises are awesome. You can do the rounds for three to five rounds. Make sure you're using the appropriate level. Check out the blog to get some additional cues. And check out more great exercises at dvrtfitness.com.